do you feel like through therapy you know for everybody that's watching like that there was like one question that you got asked that helped you kind of really see things yeah. differently yeah and just to clarify uh it wasn't necessarily like uh i guess your traditional traditional therapy <clears throat> there's a company in la called mitt it stands for mastery and transformational training and it's all emotional intelligence and transformational training so it's therapy in a very uh in a way where you're doing these exercises where you're able to like reflect and often re-experience your traumas so that you could make peace and completely change your perspective. Is it like and a program or something yeah, that yeah, you it's take? Like, it's like a four month program. That's what it huh, is, right? That's pretty cool. Um, but there was a, a pivotal moment, <laughs> a pivotal moment in the, in, the, in the basic training where the trainer, he asked a question and then I stood up and I said, well, I feel like who I am is getting in the way of who I wanna become. Sounds pretty logical, right? Then he says, actually, Jorge, he says, who you have become is getting in the way of who you've always been. Who you have become huh. is getting in the way of who you've always been, right? And every time I said that, I get the chills. So he, though he went on to explain that. He said, when you went three, and there's like 200 people in the room, he's like, when you guys were three years old, what did you have that you don't have now? People are throwing out all these words. And then he said, no, it was freedom. And I know, right, because I got a one and a four-year-old. And like not, when they want to try stuff, like today we were at the little park and my one-year-old is just trying to go down the slide. She wants to jump off. Like there's no, uh, you know, previous history of like, oh, what are people going to think about me? Or, or, or self-judgment or self-sabotage. She's just, she, is, she has complete freedom. But then what happens, right, in your upbringing, you know, a parent passes away, someone has a... Uh, 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 an abuse, physical, mental, emotional, some type of abuse or trauma or heartbreak, whatever it is. And then we create stories and we become victim to those experiences. And then that kind of leads us right to where we are sitting in that room uh, with a lot of people just having a lot of unresolved trauma. So that question was, uh, you know, really powerful because it made me think like, wow, how was I before? What happened in between? And what is my life now as a reflection of all this Hmm. A unresolved trauma you ever taken landmark it's this is like landmark Similar? but people that have taken both have told me that landmark is more mental and mitt is more like from the heart it's more emotional huh yeah because landmark is just three four days i think yeah. what when i what, took it well, the and MI, I think they're similar in the program structures where like mitt has a, a three-day basic a five-day advanced course and then a four-month leadership program is it like affordable for like anybody to kind of get into? It is. Or? It's definitely way like I personally have invested like hundreds of thousands over the years to all these crazy masterminds. And that was by far the most affordable. Interesting. 